Okay, I'm Elijah, and uh, you can also call me Black Notes. I'm from Abia State, Umar South. Music is a, a source of um, <coughs> an easy way of life for me. Let me put it that way. It's an easy way of life for me. I, I find solace in it. It's the only thing I know I can do, even without being paid. I'll still do it well. Apart from music, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think it's just music I do right now. Okay, um, gospel music. I see gospel music as uh, the solution to the problem of the world today. Everyone is singing about women, singing about how they want to do this, how they want to do that. But I, 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 f I know that gospel music uh, is, is a way to reach young people and save them from all the stress they're going through and the problems we face in society today. So gospel music has a content that can change lives compared to other kinds of music out there. For quite a while, it's more of a gift, I think, from, from childhood. I think my dad used to be a choir director in church before he became a pastor. So music, music has just been a part of me, a part of me. I, I belong. Um, difficulties so far. I can't really say any major difficulty because when it comes to the difficulty a gospel musician will face, maybe getting your songs ready, production and all that. I'm, I'm a producer so and I'm, and I'm a mixing engineer, so I cannot do my stuff myself to avoid too much stories and you know every other thing. But I think one major factor would be you know consecration and keeping yourself. It's not really easy you know, to be truthful with you. It's not, it's not really easy as a young man you know, trying to keep yourself for God so you can put out music that will change lives. You have to be the example yourself. Yeah, yeah. Um, doing music has been awesome. I got I got an award this year for one of the most for one of the youngest upcoming producers in Nigeria, and and it's the first of its kind. And you know, God has been faithful in my music. Got a record deal with a record label here in Lagos as a producer and a mixing engineer. So it's been God and service to him that has brought all this and that's one major thing i know i've achieved so far or this year <laughs> okay that would be the first time i sang in church my dad's church you know when you're in a church where all they know is indigenous music and then you're coming to sing the whole western idea so while I was leading the worship, everybody was just there looking at me and laughing. So <laughs> it was it was embarrassing. It was embarrassing. I had to just leave the whole thing and go and sit down. Okay, my advice is grow every day. Because the, the, the distance between you and where you're going to is what you don't know. So grow every day. Learn, meet people, exposure, go out there. You're a young singer. You don't know how to play an instrument. How will it work? So learn something that contributes to your craft. That's my advice. And then if you're a gospel musician out there, the spiritual, the secret place is the key. Because even after all your rehearsal, if you don't have God or you don't know the God you worship, it won't work. I want to really thank Shuzaya TV for the opportunity um, I was not expecting this and uh, I'm grateful that I came and it's been wonderful and I want to thank them for putting up this platform for you know for young musicians to come you know show what they can do and bless lives that's the most important thing to bless lives so I want to thank God for my contacts with them and it's been awesome I am really grateful I'm really grateful <laughs>